So yes, I still wear my Harley-Davidson riding jacket while I ride my Honda Goldwing. Is that right? Is that wrong? Is that allowed? Is that not allowed? Am I in the Harley lifestyle, still wearing the Harley clothes? Or am I out of the Harley lifestyle because I don't ride a Harley anymore and I ride a Honda Goldwing? In this moto vlog, I'm going to discuss that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Moto Mangi channel. I've been moto vlogging now for almost half a year, just shy of it, I guess, about four or five months. Nice car, wow. During that half year, one question I've been asked by several viewers is, did I have a hard time trading in the Harley Davidson lifestyle for my Honda Goldwing? You know, meaning was it difficult for me to sell the, or trade the Harley in for a Honda, giving up all that Harley culture and stuff? I thought today I'd do a moto vlog talking about that topic because the honest to god truth is the answer is yes I kind of did have a difficult time wrestling with giving up you know the Harley culture Harley Davidson lifestyle for a Honda Goldwing like I've said in previous videos of mine I'll post a few of them here in the card, whatever corner it's in. I'm not sure offhand. But I've said in the past that I've rode Harleys for 25 years and just Harleys. And that Harleys were the only bike I looked at for all that time. You know, I didn't care about other brands. I didn't look at them. I was very much what you would call in the Harley Davidson lifestyle in the Harley culture. Well, I've got tons of Harley stuff left. All over my house, everywhere. I've got Harley shirts. Lots and lots of Harley shirts. <laughs> lots of Harley shirts from all over the country. Even one from Germany somewhere here. Harley Davidson gloves. There. Better lighting. Harley hats. Lots of Harley hats. I've got a nice Harley lighter and a really nice aluminum Harley case. I've got several years worth of Harley hog touring books and Harley books. Quite a few Harley books. I've got a Harley watch, pocket watch on a really nice pewter eagle. I got these really nice Harley playing cards and even more Harley playing cards and a really nice Harley aluminum case for playing cards. Harley leather jackets. Harley jean jackets. Harley Davidson rain suits. Several Harley rain suits. Harley license plates. Harley wood sculptures, Harley Lego, more Harley jackets. So when you have so much Harley Davidson material things, you know, so much stuff, that's not something you just, you know, walk away from. As odd as it sounds to say, you're a little bit invested in the Harley culture. And I think a lot of people have that mentality or that you know, way of thinking that, you know, they ride a Harley, they have Harley shirts, they have all the Harley stuff. Why would you ride anything else? And that's kind of how I was. Riding a Harley was like an investment, not just in the motorcycle, but in a lot of things. And I've gone to the the rallies and the conventions and the Harley dealerships so it does kind of become a way of life so to speak 
So when I test rode the Honda Goldwing the first time, I thought, you know, I'd like to <laughs> trade my Roguelite Ultra in for this bike. One of my concerns was, yes, it's not a Harley Davidson. I've got all this Harley stuff. What do I do with all my Harley stuff? <laughs> Will I be allowed to wear it on my Honda Goldwing? Will it matter? Will anyone care? Will people make fun of me? Will I be able to ride my Honda Goldwing to you know, POW MIA rallies or Rolling Thunder events? Can I still visit Harley Davidson dealerships on a Honda Goldwing, you know? All that stuff went through my head. And now, two years later to me, it seems kind of silly. People ride other brands of motorcycles everywhere, you know? They And that's normal. I mean, that's just the way things are. But I didn't notice that stuff before, really. And I didn't think about it before, really, you know? Not until I actually decided, you know, I might want to own a bike other than a Harley Davidson for a change. But I think I had Harley on the brain and in my life so much that deciding to buy a different brand was a large decision, you know? It took me a while to think about that and actually weigh out, you know, what that would be like. But I still have tons of Harley stuff. But I still wear them. Even when I'm riding my Goldwing. Like right now, I'm wearing my, you know, jacket. My Harley jacket and, boot and gloves. And I'm fine with that. But I know not everyone is. There are definitely Harley riders who feel that if you don't own a Harley, you shouldn't wear the shirts and all that stuff. That's a thing. I think it's less of a thing than it used to be. I think that mentality is fading away slowly, gradually. But it does still exist out there. No, I've gotten past it. You know, I, I think what I realized is I may have left the Harley Davidson lifestyle. But I'm find myself more in a motorcycle lifestyle now. You know. I look at all brands of motorcycles nowadays much more than I used to. I'm much more of a motorcycle fan now than I am of a, a Harley Davidson fan. And that started with this Honda Goldwing, to be honest. Before I test rode this Goldwing, I wasn't interested in anything other than Harley Davidson bikes. And one thing I've noticed about a lot of other Goldwing owners and riders, not just Goldwing riders, but other brand riders, is that they too, like Harley Davidson's, you know, just as much as I do, because I do still like Harley Davidson's. I mean, I love the company, I, lo I love the bikes. I don't own one, because, you know, this Gold Wings tooth me more right now. Maybe it always did. That's something I thought about quite a bit since buying this Gold Wing. And maybe I rode Harley's just because it's what I thought riding motorcycles was, you know, I mean, I have friends that ride Harleys. Harley's the biggest motorcycle brand. Well, maybe not, I don't know, Honda sells a lot more bikes than them, but when it comes to cruisers and tours, Harley's definitely the biggest. They're definitely iconic, that's for sure. But to me, Harley's were motorcycles, you know, they were, they were what riding motorcycles is all about. But since buying this Goldwing, I kind of think Harleys were never the ideal bike for me. I mean, maybe when I was younger, they were. You know, when I started riding motorcycles, I was definitely nowhere near ACAT, that's for sure. 
I'd ride in sneakers and jeans. No jacket, just a t-shirt. No gloves, hardly ever, unless it was cold outside. My first helmet was a peanut shell helmet. I bought it at a flea market. It wasn't even DOT approved. It came with a fake DOT sticker you put on the back of the helmet to make it look DOT approved. <laughs> For the cops, I guess. Definitely wasn't safe, you know. If I'd ever been in an accident that helmet, God help me, I would have been hurt. I would have been in bad shape. But I rode with that helmet for years. A, a lot of years. I still have it, actually. I, it's in my closet at home. <laughs> I don't wear it anymore, but I still have it. And I think, you know, part of that was the Harley look, the Harley image. But as I got older, I migrated more and more away from that. I became more at I'm not at now, but I'm getting there. I'm close. As the years go on, I grow more and more at All the gear all the time. And truthfully, I probably will be someday. Ah, oh, Pennsylvania. You and your oil and chipped roads. So I wouldn't say I'm in the Honda Goldwing lifestyle right now. No, I definitely say I'm in the motorcycle lifestyle. You know, I appreciate all brands, all kinds of motorcycles. I plan to test ride a bunch of other different brands that I've never been on before in my life because for 25 years, all I rode were Harleys. All I test rode were Harleys, but there's a whole world of motorcycles out there. And I'm now experiencing that. Like that to be honest so do i miss the harley lifestyle now that i've been away from it for two years now that i haven't had a harley for two years in some ways sure i mean yeah a little bit i guess I mean, 25 years is a long time to change <laughs> you know i think maybe i believe i might miss the harley lifestyle but in reality when i sit down and think about it I've missed it a lot less than I thought I would. And I thought riding a bike other than a Harley would be odd and weird and difficult and strange. But in reality, it's been a lot less odd than I expected it to be. Part of that's probably because I love this Goldwing so damn much. I mean, this bike is fantastic, I mean. This is by far the best bike I've ever owned. So that's made me miss, you know, that's made me miss the Harley lifestyle less than if I had bought a crappy bike, I guess. <laughs> oh man. More chips and oil. No pavement markings, no kidding. But I still wear my Harley shirts. I still wear my Harley jacket. You know, I wear this jacket because I like this jacket. It's comfortable, it's paid for. <laughs> it's a good jacket. So I will continue to wear my Harley shirts and my Harley jacket and my Harley riding gloves because when it comes down to it, I still love Harley. And I'm fine saying that even while I'm riding my Honda Goldwing. I still support Harley and I'll gladly advertise for them by wearing their shirts and their jackets when I'm out and about. Do you think if a person rides a Honda Goldwing but wears Harley shirts and jackets and stuff, are they still in the Harley lifestyle? Can you be in the Harley lifestyle and not ride a Harley Davidson motorcycle? That's an interesting question. I'm not really sure about that one. <laughs> I do still visit Harley dealers on my Honda Goldwing. Because, you know, I still like looking at Harley Davidson motorcycles. I like seeing the colors for every year. I like seeing what they change. I like seeing the custom bikes. 
So the short answer is yes. It was a tough decision to leave the Harley culture for different brand motorcycle. But in hindsight, it shouldn't have been, you know? In hindsight, it shouldn't have mattered. I shouldn't have been worried about it. It shouldn't have been a big deal. And I think that's really my whole takeaway on the topic, that a rider shouldn't be afraid to change brands because of all the stuff they own. Or because of, you know, what they've read their whole life. Or because of what their friends might think. Yada, yada, yada. In short, we should be comfortable riding the motorcycles we want to ride, regardless of what brand they are. And we shouldn't feel tied to one specific brand simply because of the stuff we own or the bikes our friends ride or such stuff. I guess in the end, that's my take on it. Don't be afraid to change brands if you really want to. Don't let fear rule your life. Because <laughs> fear causes hesitation. And hesitation will cause your worst fears to come true. Rest in peace, Patrick Swayze. So there you have it, viewers. Let me know down in the comments below what you think on the matter. So that said, thanks for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care, ride safe. See you next time.